Hi everyone, this is Taylor with Civil Engineering Academy, and today we will be going over a PE civil water resources problem about inflow and infiltration storage design. So the problem statement says a small Midwestern community experiences excess infiltration and inflow into its separated sanitary sewer system. The wastewater treatment facility is rated for a maximum daily flow rate of 0.5 MGD or million gallons per day. The following flows have been documented at the wastewater treatment facility. So the average daily flow is 0.35 MGD. The average daily wet weather flow is 0.68 MGD. The 30 day max wet weather flow is 0.552 MGD. The maximum daily wet weather flow is 1.85 MGD. And lastly, the peak hour wet weather flow is 2.5 MGD. So there's a lot of different flows going on. So the regulatory agency has dictated that the wastewater treatment facilities store excesses flows above the plant rating on a monthly basis or expand the entire facility to handle maximum daily wet weather flows. If the wastewater treatment facility were to use equalization instead of expansion, which basins would provide adequate storage to meet the regulatory requirements while limiting the costs of construction? And then we have to select two of these that apply. So how should we solve this? Um, we're not going to really need anything in the PE reference handbook because um, we don't need to use any specific equa equations besides volume equations for these either circular basins, um, so that would just be the volume of the cylinder, or a rectangular basin or a lagoon, which is just the volume of a rectangular prism. So first, we need to select the correct flow design. Select correct flow to use for our design. So we want to use equalization, so storage, um, storing excess flow above the plant rating on a monthly basis. So an average daily flow is not going to work because that's on not on a monthly basis 30 day maximum wet weather flow that's a month maximum daily wet weather flow that's not going to work and peak hour wet weather flow also won't work so we are going to use this flow rate and we want to store the excess above the plant rating so we will take 0.552 mgd minus our plants rating at 0 0.5 MGD. And we will get an excess of 0 0.052 MGD. And since um, all of our volumes are in feet, we're going to get cubic feet for storage volume. So we will convert this MGD to feet cubed. So we'll get 0.052 million gallons per day, and that was on a 30-day maximum. So we'll multiply this by 30 days, and we will get 1.56 million gallons total. And to make that into feet, we will multiply this by 7.481 feet cubed per gallon times 10 to the 6 gallons per million gallon. And we will get and to get this million gallons into feet cubed, we will multiply it by 10 to the 6 gallons per million gallon times 0 0.134 feet cubed per gallon. And this just comes from your um, 1.2 conversion factors in your PE reference handbook. And we will get... 209040 feet 
cubed. This is the storage volume we of water that we need to store. So in step three, we'll write it down here. We are going to convert all of these answer choices to volume and then see which one will hold um, this 209024 feet cubed of water that we need to hold. So we'll start with A and we get a volume is equal to pi r squared h equals pi times 1 point, oops, that's 175 feet diameter divided by 2 squared times the height is 10 feet and that will give us a volume equal to 245.28 feet cubed. And for B, we'll have a rectangular basin, so that's just a simple width times length times height. It's equal to 120 feet times 115 feet times 12 feet, and we will get volume equal to 165.600 feet cubed. I'll just skip over the calculation for C because that's the same type of calculation for A. And then moving on to D, we have a lagoon that gives us an area and a depth. So we'll do volume equals area times depth equals 0 0.65 acres times 8 feet depth. And then we need to convert that acres to feet squared, which is 43.560 feet squared per acre. And that will give us to 26,512 feet cubed. And you can get this conversion from your conversion charts in PE Reference Handbook 1.2 section. And then E will be the exact same calculation as D. But as we can tell, this 2.2 uh, acres area will be a lot greater than the 0.65 so if you're in a crunch during the test you can pretty much eliminate option e because we already know it's going to be way higher than that and this storage volume is already sufficient to store our water but i'll just um, skip over and provide this calculation anyways okay so now that we have all of our volumes from our answer options let's look at them one by one and see which ones are going to provide enough storage for our 209040 feet cubed of water that we need to store so a24528 that works b165600 that is too small no C78539 feet cubed, that's way too big because keep in mind we want to limit costs of construction so we don't want to build something that's about three times bigger. D226512 feet cubed, that will work and that's not too much bigger. And then E, like we said before, we already kind of could tell that this was going to be way bigger so that's not going to work either. So answer choices are A, 